This time last year, I met a fun and confident man striving for virtue. Not long after our first meeting, he courageously walked my direction one night at a party and asked if he could take me on a date. He said, hey, I think you're amazing. Can I take you out on a date next weekend? In one sentence, he defined clearly his intentions and not for one moment was I left wondering where he stood. With my simple response of yes, he asked permission to call me later that week to secure a day and let me know what he had planned for the evening. His initiation was attractive and exciting. In that simple moment, a man made me feel what no other had before in such a short amount of time. Honored, safe, and secure by his bravery and clarity. I wasn't used to this type of interaction with men, which could be the reason why I found it to be so unique and refreshing. My experience is similar to the majority of women in our culture. I've had countless women tell me how many guy friends they have, yet they've never been asked out on a proper date. In my own experience, it is simply more common for men to reach out by texting or Facebook message to hang out or even ask me out than calling and asking for a date. All too often, this can leave women feeling like, what is wrong with me? Am I not worth a greater risk? In no way am I implying that the weight of all intentionality should fall on the shoulders of men. But I do believe there is something naturally exciting about a man stepping out and risking rejection to express interest in a woman. A woman is made for pursuit. Regardless of how she feels about the gentleman pursuing, there is a joy that comes from knowing she is special, unique, and worthy of such a risk. Women, I'm sorry if you felt unseen or uncherished in this way. My best advice for you is to ask for clarity where it's needed. I'll never forget a time I asked a man who was pursuing me what his intentions were. He was able to offer clarity and told me how honored he was that I asked. Oftentimes women need more clarity in our relationships than men. It can become a way in which we can challenge men to love us with even greater courage. Men, you have what it takes. I believe that you're sold the lie that you need to love a woman in radical gestures in order to win her affection. Rather, the smallest moments of clarity and intentionality make the greatest difference. This is not to expose your weakness, but this is a call from a sister to understand that your simple words of clarity, intentional pursuit, and follow through in communication can actually make a woman feel loved. You are needed. Be brave.